Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations. So, chimneys, something which are pretty common in any modern kitchens. But what is not common about them is the amount of information, the knowledge. I was surprised that there is not even a single proper video which explains the power consumption of these very common household appliances. So today I thought, well, why not make a very detailed power consumption video of uh, this little guy. So this thing here uh, is from Glenn. You might be a slightly different model. But as per my experience, their power consumption is more or less similar. So today we are going to test this and also we are going to test each and every mode of this in the usual Zen Innovations style. So what you see over here is that I have already connected the power meter and just these little bulbs of this chimney are working and we can see that the power consumption already is 88 watts. I assume that uh, these are simple old school incandescent bulbs running at a 40 watt each and combined they consume 88 watts to provide illumination for your cooking. Yes, so very outdated and very inefficient design and in the future I look forward to retrofitting these guys into some kind of an LED upgrade. If you want me to do that, please let me know in comment section below. That is going to hasten me up, right? So that was about the bulbs. Now let's turn on the main functionality of this chimney, which is the fan motor. So the fan motor can be started from here. So this is uh, going to be the first speed, the lowest speed. I'm going to turn off all of these switches. So all these speed settings are now off and this thing, it should now start at the lowest possible speed. So there we go. Here it happens. And by the time this uh, meter stabilizes, I'll give you a bit of tour of the wiring. So the wiring here is very simple. I have this uh, plug socket board already made for me and this plug of the chimney usually goes over there. But what we have today is that the power first goes into this uh, power meter also known as a watt meter which helps measure the power consumption and from this meter the power then flows into the chimney over here using this black cable. So here the chimney motor is now working and at the speed of 1 which is the lowest speed the power consumption is 170 watts. This is the combined power consumption with the bulbs and with the motor. So let's turn off the bulbs and let's see. Uh, for example, say if we just want the fans to be working and we don't want any illumination. So what kind of reading we will see? And the reading we will see is uh, somewhere around 80 or 82 watts. Okay, let's turn them on. And now we are going to test the higher speeds of this chimney. So what I'm going to do is press this uh, second speed button over here. So there we go. And now the chimney should be running faster and by the time this uh, meter stabilizes guys let me tell you that uh, if you want to buy any of this stuff for so be it this kind of nice little power meter or even this chimney itself i leave a lot of affiliate links in the description below for you please consider using them so on the speed 2 which is this speed the increase in a power consumption is surprisingly small so it was 170 watts earlier on the speed 1 but on the speed 2 the power has jumped up only 20 watts so from 170 it has gone to 190 watts now let's dial this thing all the way up and let's engage this uh, third speed button so this is the final and the fastest speed of this chimney and let's see what it does and there we go I can already hear that it is making a whole lot of noise. The speed of motor has kicked up considerably. And along with the speed, the power consumption has also gone up drastically. So 253 watts is uh, being consumed by this chimney along with the bulbs as usual. So I believe that this third speed should also be renamed as a turbo button because everything went up including the speed, including the noise and including the power consumption. So a massive jump over there, right? Now here what I want to do is I want to turn off these bulbs. Say that if you have a lot of smoke in your kitchen, you just want to get it out. You don't care about the illumination. 
the performance of motor is what you want. So the power consumption is going to be something like this 168 or 169 watts uh, will be consumed by this chimney. And yes, the power consumption figures are surprisingly high, especially when I compare them against a regular exhaust fan, which consumes somewhere around 50 or 60 watts. So this thing at full blast is almost five times as much. So these things might be looking very sleek and stylish, but power efficient, they are not. So depending on the architecture of your house, if you can install a regular exhaust fan, you should go ahead with it. If that thing is not possible, only then go for this kind of chimney. So that is it for this little video guys. And before ending the video, let me point towards this dedicated playlist, which is waiting for you in the description below. The playlist is known as power consumption testing, where I have tested a variety of home appliances for their power consumption. So that's it for this little video guys. I hope you liked it. Take care and have a nice day.